Hey, my friends, what's up? It's me, JC, in the house again. So today we're going to make some beef tamales. I haven't made these in a long, long time. I'm going to start with about six pounds of beef. We'll get in there in a minute. I have no oil in here, but I had it heating up. And I cut them into big chunks. I'm just trying to meet up in the pressure cooker today. Okay. So I put the oil on everything to do the meat by itself naturally. Just to get the syrup a little bit. And then to this I have in a bowl. Right here. I have four bay leaves. Five cover water. There is a three quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. There is a teaspoon and a half of sea salt. There is um, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, uh, two teaspoons of cumin, two tablespoons of bouillon, chicken bouillon, that is. And we're going to start putting in the seasoning. And I'll be doing the, the chili and everything separate. I'm also adding some chili, so if we get some really good broth out of this, then we're great to go. If not, then oh well. Okay, so I'm also going to be doing one whole onion. I don't even know because it's all going to go into the chili, so it's going to come in here to get a flavor here, and it's going to chill after. One bunch of cilantro, two bunch of green onions, which all I do is instead of cutting them in half away, I just broke them in half a little while ago when I was getting them prepared. So now this is ready to be covered up, and I'm going to take it off of being on um, browning, searing, whatever it's called, I can't remember the name right now. Um, I'm going to take it off of that mode and put it onto the beef mode. There we go. Alright, my friends, I'll see you guys after a while. Hey friends, we're back. So this is done. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to take the meat out of here. Put it into a bowl. I'm gonna leave um, the veggies in there and I'm gonna put the, the chilies in here and put it on the saute feature and have them all come out, okay? So I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out without warning you guys. I'll see you guys in a few, my friends. All right, my friends, we are back. Um, so if you can see right here right now, we have, I just put the chilies in here right now. I just started it to, um, I'm gonna go ahead and cook them in here on, like I said, on the, um, sear mode and so um in here i have i have 12 wajillo three pasilla three negro three new mexico chilies so i think that's a total of 21 different ones and they're all different sizes so they're not like all big or whatever they're all different sizes on one so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let these come up to a boil. I'm gonna let them cook for about, um, the mode can go for 30 minutes. So I might let it go for the whole 30. I might just let it go for 20. Um, after it's done, I'm gonna let it sit and to you know cool down a little bit, and then we'll go ahead and make the sauce. Um, right here, add the meat, and I still gotta get the meat in and um, start shredding it up. And we might just do that too in, in the process of waiting for the chili to go. We'll see. But I just wanted to bring you guys back real quick and just let you know we're going to start chilling out and then we're going to go ahead and start the meat, okay? So I'll see you guys in a few. Bye, my friends. All right, friends, we're back. The chili is done. It's set for a little bit. So I have it right here in the pan or the, the pot, okay? We're going to put some inside of our blender. So here we go, my friends. And then to put it inside a wall, like I usually do, I'm going straight into my pot. Very big for easy cleanup, easier cleanup. Here 
we go. So yeah, we're good. All right, friends, so I'm going to go ahead and put this in there. I'm going to stop filming for now while I finish up this last of this last and clean up my mess. And then we'll be back when it's time to do the next part. See you. All right, friends, so I've already started using my forks and start shredding up the meat. So I'm just using the two forks and just I don't know. I think nothing beats doing it with your fingers. I'm so used to just doing my fingers. That was even faster, see? I always love to use my hands better. I mean, there's still some, you know, pieces and whatever, but it's not like it was. And I will see you guys in a little bit. Bye, guys. Okay, my friends, what's up? It's me, JC, back in the house again. So now we're gonna go ahead and start with our masa. And with our masa, I'm using the maseca, dry masa. And we're gonna use, there's um, six and three quarter cups in here. To that, we're gonna add in three tablespoons of chicken bouillon and three tablespoons of salt. The good thing about the salt and everything is when you're adding it in with, um, when the toilet are um, steaming and everything, what's gonna happen is they're gonna, a lot of the salt comes out of it all. So you, if it ends up being a little too salty, it's gonna come out. The majority of it, at least, for the most part. <clears throat> okay, now to this, what I'm gonna do is, I'm probably gonna do, um, I heated up the chili sauce that we make. And I'm probably gonna do about two to three cups of that, because we need about six to eight cups of liquid. And that's why I put chicken bouillon because I'm not putting chicken stock or anything. I'm putting to put water. Two cups going in there. And it's warm and everything already. I don't know if I said, or not, if I said that or not. If I didn't, I'm reiterating. If I did, sorry about that, guys. I said I'm going to do four. So we're going to do two more. The other four. And then. I can mix it up a little bit and turn the um, hot water back on I wanted to get it to um, just get, you know, hot from faucet hot, hot, faucet hot, and then we're going to add it in here too. I don't want it like boiling hot or super hot like that. I don't want to feel cold because we're putting already in warm liquid, so I'm going to keep warm liquids in. A little over two cups right here of water. Okay, here we go. So I have one and a half pounds of lard that I melted down that we're gonna be using. This is one pound of it. And it's hot and I'm not putting my hand in there right now. You can cream it if you want to, whatever it's up to you. Like I said, I didn't feel like pulling out the big mixer and go through all that right now. And a uh, half pound, that's not it. So that's why I didn't want to use my hands. I didn't, I didn't feel like pulling out the thing. So I just decided to make it easier myself and just melt it down. Alright my friends, 
I'm going to stop from here for now. And I'm just going to clean up this little bit I got to clean up last. Um, get our husk and stuff together. And then I'll be back with you guys. That way this gives us some time because you know it's still hot. Sometimes when it cools down a little bit, it'll come together better. So, I mean, it should be okay. I, I want it to be a little more drier. It's better when it's a little bit drier for my, I believe. But I think it's just too wet. But now it's starting to come off my hands because before I wasn't doing it. So, if I give it a little bit longer to sit, it should be okay. <clears throat> All right, friends. I will see you guys in a few. All right, friends. So here's what I was talking about earlier with the uh, the leaves. This is still really hot. I always keep it like that. I always put my hands right into everything all the time. So what I need to do now is just go ahead and just take them out. So what I'm gonna do, right quick. Get them out. And right here, I'm gonna put them inside of one of those colander things for now. I don't wanna put it in a big old bowl or whatever. I'm gonna leave right here in the sink because I'm gonna be right here working right next to the sink. So we just grab right here. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so that's one of you guys see this for us. And I'm gonna put them all over here. And there we go. Friends, the back. So, after that, I didn't see everything you good. I've already started making some. So, I'm always putting them together. So, I want to make sure it's coming out right. And then, we're going to start back to where we left off at, which is I'm going to do some with a couple with you. And then, I'm going to finish them off with myself with us. That way, I can just get them done. Um, it takes a long time when you're doing it by yourself. So, I want to get a head start. So, you get your your corn husk after it's been soaked and everything. And one side's always going to be rough, and one side's going to be smooth. And the smooth side, you're going to get the moss on. You get some of your moss on. And he's gonna spread it on. Oh, I'm grabbing a ton of it. And I just take it off as I go. And I move my fingers like a spider, you know. Um, that way I can get this gadget to go. And I'm gonna bring it back this way. Turn it sideways. Guys, I said stop now. And you just go ahead and just keep rubbing it on. I get irritated when I'm doing this. I might always end up using my fingers. I'll scoop some of it on here and then I use my hand. So you have it all done up right here. Then you're gonna go ahead. Some of the meat. And then you're going to get it. And you can either get it and go side to side like this. Oh, okay, excuse me. Go side to side like this. And then you're going to fold it down. And then you're going to bring the bottom up. And then you're going to go ahead and just and take whatever excess is on top. Have it like that. There's one way. <clears throat> Might have about, <clears throat> do about maybe three, four of them with you guys, and then we'll go ahead and finish them off. Because it's getting late, and I don't see it any coming soon. <laughs> Real good. You want to sure get some on top too. As high as you want it to go to be sealed, is what how high you want to go with it. Okay. And then you're gonna go ahead and get your meat again. <clears throat> and then you can also do it where you fold over and you fold over. 
and you get the bottom part and you twist it. I'm just trying not to do it over the the masa. And then like I did earlier when you do it like this, it's just like that pinch it, it's cool. Off, there you go. And it, stop it now. Okay, and I'll show you guys one other way. Because there's another one that I'll do, um, especially when I'm folding it, and it's not folding out right. Or it starts to come loose as you're um, wanting it. Because I always set them down flat after I roll them before I um, put them into the pot. Did I give them a chance to like. Um, Still together, um, you know, um, just settle on everything. Because if you do it right after, I've noticed every time I've done it like that, I always end up with them all trying to explode open. So I give them a chance to sit flat and just let them go ahead and settle up before I put them in there. Start cooking. I don't know if it really makes a difference to me, it does. So long as it's to me, I'd call it matters. Okay, let me get this meat. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do like I did the first time around. Fold over, fold over, twist and fold. Okay. And now some people will get um um parking paper deals like that. I just go ahead and I'll get another leaf or husk. And I'll just hold it in really kind of tight. And then I'll just go ahead and wrap it up like it's a little baby or burrito. And then just the bottom, bring it up, and pinch. And that way it's double, it's double tiled. Um, some people, they'll put, um, what's it called? Husk or something, or string or twine or whatever around them. I don't do all that. I tried, it was nerve wracking. Cause it took me that much longer to even do them. I'm gonna do one more with you guys and then I'm gonna go ahead and go off and bring you guys back after I have everything settled up in to get steamed. I'm being too proper right now. I get done faster when I'm not proper. Like I said, if you're doing another group project, hey, fun. Um, so far, I've never done it with a group project. The first time I ever did it when I was a little kid, preteen, yeah, I did it in a group um, with one of my aunts, which she wanted, uh, she needed help doing because she was doing a ton of them. Um, the first time I made them, I made it. Seven different kinds, and oh my god, did I make a couple hundred of them by myself? It took me two and a half days. I was up just in the kitchen, only making tamales. So, um, that's the most I've done on by myself. I've made, um, oh my god, I think 12 dozens or whatever, um, um, within an hour and a half by myself. I was supposed to have help a couple times, and everybody just ended up talking, not paying attention, and I just keep, I start working and going as we're talking. And that's the time that I did the 12 dozen. I was like, wait a minute, you're done? Apparently, I got done real quick. Um, okay, but I was going to do it. going to help me just say yes right now. And nobody ended it. So, whatever. I can't wait for nobody. Um, I don't, I don't allow that to happen in my life. If we said we're going to do something and you don't get to go on doing it, well, I'm going to go do it on something. I've always wanted that. I can't wait around. And I also hate to get dressed. If I know we're all going somewhere and I'm the last one to get dressed. Because I do not like to stand around being dressed. I don't like to sit around being dressed. I don't like to wait around being dressed. If I'm dressed, that means I'm walking out, I'm walking out the door now. Um, I'm not going to be dressed for four hours and wait around while everybody else is over there pitiful already around and do whatever they want. 
So that's the rule. Once I go to get dressed, we're on. Once my clothes are on, I'm on the door. I had to wait. Either let's go or you're staying behind, dressed or not. So I give everybody the chance to get ready, start getting ready first. I'll be getting ready and if I'm, you know, we're gonna do breakfast or something at home, and maybe I'll do breakfast or lunch or something like that. Um, help whoever needs to get helped with, with certain things. And then, you know, when it's my turn, well, you guys got 10 minutes, 20 minutes, I'll tell them, and then we're out the door. Cause when I come out that room and I'm together, we're gone. Cause there was many times before I used to get dressed and get undressed and then get dressed again. And I thought that was ridiculous. I don't want to be all, all wrinkled and whatever. I don't want to end up with stuff and everything else all over me. Or I have to change everything because I've messed everything up. So, you know, that's how I do it all. So if we're going to do something together, we're doing it. If you don't start doing it, well, I'm doing it myself. If we're going to go somewhere, we're going. And if I'm ready and you're not, well, then I'm leaving without you. Goodbye. Well, my friends, I will see you guys in a little bit. Touch my hands off. It's like, touch mine. Yeah. Okay. I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye, guys. We're right here on top of the stove and pan. So I have everything layered. I have a, a steamer dish thing that's in the middle. And I have everything that's going wrapped around it. And then I'm going to get some husk. You can also use um, towels and more cloths or whatever. I just use husk. Grab the husk and go around this baby. You want to be able to get a good steam on it. Hold on, I'll be right back. So I'm just trying to go around it, but it's hard, kind of hard to do with one hand. I have it on high right now because I gotta get the water boiling. And once the water boiling, I'm gonna turn it down to probably about a medium and then let it go for about an hour. So I'll be right back. All right, friends. So I have it basically around the whole thing. So now I'm just gonna get it to lid and put that baby over top. Make sure it has a good closed seal on it. And as soon as it starts to boil, I'll take it down to medium. And from there, I'll see you guys in about an hour, hour and 20. So I'm going to check it. If they're done, I'll turn them off. And I'll let them some sit. And then we'll go ahead and try them. So I'll see you guys in a few. Bye, guys. Hey, hey, my friend. JC back in the house. I've been in the house, but I'm back right here for now. Okay, so our tomatoes have done and everything. So we're going to try them now. So these are our beef. Tamales and red chili sauce. Kidoki, kidoki. All right, my friends. Here we go. Cheers and bon appetit, my friends. Mmm. Neither should I haven't made beef once in a long time. I always make pork or chicken, mostly pork. But I haven't done beef in a while. Wow, it is so great. You guys need to try this. Let me know how you liked it um, in, the, in the comment section below. Um, it took a few hours to get it done. But I did it over the, the space of two days only because I wanted to take it easy. Because normally I do it all at once and do it fast. And I didn't want to go, um, spread myself way too thin like I normally do. So I gave myself um, two days to do it. That way I'll be able to get it all done and not be exhausted when I was finished. Like I said, I do them by myself all the time. So I don't ever have any help doing it. So um, normally I do them all. Um, bust them all out, whatever. Or this time I said, you know what? I have a lot of other things going on right now. So I needed to go ahead and just like take my time, enjoy them, the whole process, and I did. And it came out perfect. So, my friends, remember there's nothing you can't do in the kitchen. It's okay to play with your food. And I will be seeing you in the next video. Hope you enjoy the tamales and I hope you guys try them. And let me know in the comment section. Is there anything you want me to make? Um, leave me a message and let me know, and I will go ahead and do a video for you guys. And until next time, my friends, bon appétit. JC signed out, and I'll see you later. Bye, my friends. See you there.